Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. Today I'm filled with um, rage and disdain towards social media. The social media network in question, it changes every few days, right? Sometimes I'm like, wow, Twitter is just the absolute cesspit of humanity. And then I'm like, oh, hang on. That red play button website, she's got something to say. Somebody come collect her because she's acting like an idiot. Somebody come get her, she's a mammoth. Of course. But today, everybody, the social media network that has pushed me over the ledge into the abyss of disdain is Instagram. That is so early 2014, you stupid f***ing dinosaur! If you don't have the time or the patience to watch this whole video, I totally get it. And I'm going to summarize this video in three words. Instagram machine broke. The main thing that I want to talk about with Instagram is the ad interests feature, which I'll get to soon. But I just wanted to give you a introduction to why I started hating Instagram. Oh my God, this feels like why I started hating Instagram. Let me count the ways. Basically, it was all good until the Fire Nation attacked. And by Fire Nation, I mean Facebook. Roaches! After Miss Facebook purchased Miss Instagram, things took a turn for the worse, dare I say. I mean, okay, take this with a grain of salt. I use Instagram several times a day and I use Facebook like once or twice a week. So I do use these services. So it's like a bit rich of me to be like, I hate Facebook, I hate Instagram, but hello, the girls are selling my data. So there is a transaction here. I don't want anything to do with Facebook unless I absolutely have to be on there. The only reason that I go on there is to check who had a baby, who got married and what dog meme my mum is sending me. Let me hydrate, I'm already enraged. Literally that. It's so integrated into a lot of services now, which is frightening. Facebook bought Oculus and I was filled with rage instantly. So if I ever want to get angry, like if I was a boxer, this would be perfect because I just look at the Facebook logo and get angry before a fight. Roaches! The F in fight stands for Facebook. So yes, that's the initial background knowledge that you need to know about my feelings going into the Facebook acquisition of Instagram. So let's get into how Facebook makes it as difficult as possible for you to see your ad interest on Instagram. I smell a stunt. I smell a stunt. Here we are on my Instagram page. Love that for me. Feel free to give a follow, even though I'm like, I hate Instagram. Follow me. You know what? Whatever. If we go into three lines at the top and you go into settings, okay? So if, first of all, if I said add activity, you'd be like, oh, let me just check your activity. No, let's go look at settings. Okay, that seems like a logical place to go. Am I gonna go into account, ads, security, or privacy? Wrong, I'm assuming. <laughs> love that for me, love that for them, love that for everybody involved. Security. Oh, access data. What data? Well, let's go have a look. So now what we're viewing is in web development, it's called an iframe. I don't know what it's called in mobile development. It's when you have a page inside a page, but it's not native to the app that you're in. This is telling me all my account information, profile information, connections, account activity, story activity. Oh, I feel like I've been scrolling for 10 years. I almost don't want to keep scrolling. And yet, right at the bottom, Ads, ad interest view all. I wonder how many there are. How exciting, what could they possibly be? Ad interest, your account doesn't have any information to show here. Guys, it was all a lie, she lied. lied. That's awfully convenient that there's nothing there. Let me just refresh. Oh, there's nothing there. Guess I'll just shut the app and never think about this ever again. So then, if you do the exact same process on the Instagram web client, it works. And there's ad interest. So I have something like, how many is this? It looks like a hundred and something, like 110, 120. And it starts off making sense. It's like online shopping. Yeah, I dabble. Fight me about it. Sometimes I just like to do a little bit of online shopping. Let me live. Then we've got shopping, shopping in fashion and automobiles. You know what? Maybe I'm shopping for automobiles online. You don't know me, you don't know my story. Recipes, I am in fact 25 years old. So these make sense. Recipes, business, tourism, food, cooking, baking, music videos, chocolate, desserts, music and motorcycles. Let's take a second to quickly recap what we've just read. Instagram saying, okay, this person right here, he's interested in online shopping. He's also interested in pop music. So let's give him some ads for Dua Lipa's new tour. Thank you for that, Instagram. He's also interested in baking, chocolate and desserts. Jazz music, Instagram. Is that not a little bit full of themselves? They're like, oh, this person's interested in Instagram while browsing Instagram. I'm in fact not. A couple of weird ones, you know what? Let's let it slide. Dance, YouTube, horseback riding. Let me open the door and leave. 
Wait a minute, hold on. I'm just going to say on the record right now, I am not a horse person. I've never once shown interest in horseback riding. I don't know where Instagram got this. Wrong bitch, not me. Like no shade to the horse girls out there. You do your thing, I'll do my thing. Your thing is not my thing. So then after horseback riding, where could we possibly go from there? Well, <laughs> eating. This feels like a little bit of a slap in the face. The girls are reading your phone activity. They're reading it like, me in grade five at the top of the reading chart. Yeah, that's a flex. Ferrari, meal, popular music, lifestyle, bakery, oven, cars, bread. I've made public statements about my feelings towards bread. Get mad at me. I don't think bread's worth it. If there's bread, I'll eat the bread to feel full. It's a tool for a task. And that task is to not be hungry anymore. Now, why does Instagram think that I want to see ads for bread? What about my behavior has said, let's give him ads for bread and Audis. Like, do I just update all my bios across every social media network and be like, bread and Audis. That's my whole brand. I don't even need to explain myself anymore. This next screenshot, I think perfectly summarizes my point that the Instagram machine is broken, much like the McDonald's ice cream machine. Okay. We go from country rap, which, what is country rap? What is, who is, like, who is country rap? When have I ever said, let me go stream some country rap? When have I ever gone to a profile? I don't even know a country singer. The only country singer I know is Blake Shelton because he's married to Gwen Stefani. Hello? Miami bass or Miami bass? Maybe that's a fish. I don't know. Flower? It's not even flower. F-L-O-W-E-R. I'm, oh my God, I'm enraged. It's not even flower like, let me go get, grab a rose, which would be false to start with because I'm allergic to that shit. Like sometimes we get flowers and I'm like, let me sneeze. You know, it's F-L-O-U-R. Flower? Who's ad interest is flower? Who's like, oh yeah, fantastic. Oh, there's an ad for flower. Let me positively interact with that so it suggests that to me later on. Where is the consistency? I'm asking you a question, you dumb fat bitch. Let's work our way up from this last five. So the very last one is social networking service, which is interesting because this video is about social networking services. So maybe they got that one right. Food and drink, that seems to be a theme here that I'm interested in food and drinks. And they're not wrong. I do in fact have to eat and drink to survive. Coincidentally. Midwest hip hop. No idea what that is. Midwest hip hop. Midwest hip hop is Eminem. Crickets. Automobiles and fat. 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 F-A-T. Fat. Let's process that. Let's think about that. They think my ad interest is fat. Fat and flour and chocolate brownies. Like, at what point do I feel offended? Or are they saying that I'm interested in like fatty things, like oily things, like, like literal fat? Like, are they saying, here, have some ads for lipids? Like, break those fats down so you can wash your dishes. Like, what is the, what, what was the reason? Like, that's my key argument here. What was the reason? What was the point? Did they get the engagement they wanted from this? Here we have a screenshot from my sister's ad interest. San Marzano Tomato. That is so specific. That's not even tomato. That's this specific tomato. How can you even have ads for that tomato? Who is advertising a tomato? Specifically that tomato. And then her next one, heirloom tomato. Heirloom tomato. Heirloom tomato. Heirloom tomato. Like what is my sister doing on Instagram to make Instagram think that she wants ads for tomatoes, specifically these two types of tomato? How is that even an option, a category? So how many steps was that? That was clicking the three lines, going into settings, going into, I think it was security, then going into access data, then going into view ad interest, it not working, doing the same thing on the web. So that's, oh, actually you have to click another button when you get onto the web thing. So it's like eight to nine steps to access this list. It's like, is that not suspicious? That's suspicious. It shouldn't be that hard to access my own data. Remember when Instagram was just photos, like square photos on a fucking little feed thing. Life was easier. It made sense, right? And then we just went insane. Snapchat had stories. Oh, suddenly Instagram has stories. TikTok has TikToks. Suddenly Instagram has reels. Oh my God, I hate reels. And they're pushing reels so hard now. They're like, if you open the app, there's a reel for you. 
enjoy the reels, sir. Uh, never interacted with a reel. If I want to see the content in the reels, I'll go to TikTok and look at it because they're all just re-uploaded. Yes. All the reels, I've re-uploaded TikToks. Like if I want to see a TikTok, I'll go to TikTok and view the TikTok. And they have the audacity to have the reels button down the bottom in the update. There's six buttons. Home, search, reels, shopping. Oh. Shopping, when are we gonna talk about that? And you know what? It makes sense from a business, business, from a business, Ms. Cracker perspective, it makes sense for them to do all these changes. Like I'm not shitting on the Instagram team being like, oh, you guys suck at your job. In fact, they're probably too good at their job because they're doing all these changes and it, the shit's doing well. So they're obviously doing something well from the development point of view. I'm just saying it's just annoying. Like I'm just annoyed. Like I don't go on my phone to be annoyed and yet, here we are on our phones, annoyed. And then the update with the messaging thing, I don't wanna have joint inboxes if that's what you're suggesting, that I'm gonna have my Facebook messages with my Instagram messages, absolutely not. Again, in this economy, you're asking me to do that? What more do you want from me? Do you want a blood sample? Probably, apologies that you had to watch this, but maybe I made some points, who knows? At the end of the day, I don't know where I was going with that. That does bring me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it for some unknown reason, feel free to leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you've got something to say, leave a comment. That'd be fantastic. Let me know I'm not alone in my rage hatred for Instagram. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out and bye. It's Christmas, let's go home. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.